The fourth term of an arithmetic progression, AP, is 37. And the first term is negative 20. Find the common difference. A term in an arithmetic progression is given by UN. And UN is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. Where A is the first term, D is the common difference, and N is the term whose value you want to find. Here, the question tells us that the first term is negative 20. So it means that A is equal to negative 20. And it also says that the fourth term is 37. So it means that U4 is equal to 37. We can find U4 from the formula. From the formula, U4 will be equal to A plus N is now 4. So 4 minus 1 times D. 4 minus 1 is 3. So U4 will be equal to A plus 3D. We have U4 as 37 and the same U4 as A plus 3D. So we can equate them. When we do that, we are going to have a plus 3d is equal to 37. We have the value of a as negative 20, so we can substitute it here to get the value of d, which is the common difference. When we do that, we will have negative 20 plus 3d is equal to 37. I will send 20 over to the right hand side, and so our equation will now be 3d is equal to 37 plus 20. 37 plus 20 is 57. And so 3D is equal to 57. I'll divide both sides by 3. 3 and 3 will cancel out. And so D will be equal to 57 divided by 3, which is 19. D is the common difference. So it means that the common difference of the arithmetic progression is 19. Express correct to three significant figures 0 0.003597. This is a multiple choice question, and so we are going to solve the question, and after that, we will pick the correct option. We are going to correct this number 0 0.003597 to three significant figures. Counting from left to right, that is counting in this direction, the first significant figure will be the first non-zero number. The first non-zero number is 3. The number after that will be the second significant figure. So here, 3 is the first significant figure. The second significant figure is 5. And the third significant figure is 9. We want to correct the number to 3 significant figures. The third significant figure is 9, so we will check the number after 9. If it's more than 5, we will add 1 to 9. If it's less than 5, we will leave it like that. The number after 9 is 7. 7 is more than 5, and so we will add 1 to 9. And so 7 is off, and then we will add 1 to 9. When we add 1 to 9, we are going to have 10. So here will be 0, and then we will add 1 to 5. When we add 1 to 5, it will give us 6. And so our number is now 0 0.00360. So when we correct 0 0.003597 to three significant figures, we are going to have 0 0.00. 360. When we look through the options, you can see that the correct option is B. The points on a linear graph are shown in the table. We have the table here showing the X and Y coordinates. 
find the gradient or slope of the line this is a multiple choice question so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option these are the coordinates of some points that fall on a given line the question wants us to use the information in this table to calculate the gradient or the slope of the line the gradient or slope of the line is given by the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so to get the gradient or the slope we will need two points that fall on the line so here we can pick any two points we can either pick the first one and the second one or the second one and the third one or the first one and the third one any of them will work but here i'm going to use the first one and the second one so i'll use the second one as my x2 y2 and the first one as my x1 y1 so i'll substitute this information into the formula the gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 i'm using the second one as my x2 y2 so the y2 will be 5.20 and the first one as my x1, y1. So the y1 will be 3.90 divided by the x2, which is 6.85 minus the x1, which is 6.20. This will give us 2. So it means that the gradient of the line is 2. When we look through the options, we can see that the correct option is C. In the diagram, RT is a tangent to the circle at R. Angle PQR is equal to 70 degrees. Angle KORT is equal to 52 degrees. Angle KOSR is equal to Y. And angle PRQ is equal to X. Find the value of X. This is a multiple choice question. And so you will solve the question and after that you will pick the correct option. We are going to use the information found on this diagram to find the value of x. One of the theorems of a circle is that in a circle, the angle between a chord and a tangent at the end of the chord is equal to the angle subtended by the chord in the alternate segment. On this diagram here, we have the tangent RT and the chord RQ. There's an angle formed between the tangent RT and the chord RQ, and that is the angle QRT, which is 52 degrees. The theorem says that the angle between a chord and a tangent at the end of the chord is equal to the angle subtended by the chord in the alternate segment. Here, the chord KOR and the tangent RT meets to form the angle KORT, which is 52 degrees. And at the same time, the chord KOR forms the angle Q, P, R in this segment. So we have this angle here, angle Q, P, R. The theorem says that the angle between the chord and the tangent is equal to the angle that the chord subtends in the alternate segment. So here the angle Q, R, T, which is the angle between the chord and the tangent is equal to the angle QPR, which is the angle subtended by the chord QR in this segment. So the angle QRT, which is 52 degrees, is equal to the angle QPR. So angle QPR is also 52 degrees. Considering the triangle QPR, we have the interior angle here to be 52 degrees, 
the interior angle here to be 70 degrees and the interior angle here to be x. We know that angles in a triangle sum up to 180 degrees. So angle KOPR, which is 52 degrees, plus angle PRQ, which is x, plus angle PQR, which is 70 degrees, is equal to 180 degrees. And so we will have 52 degrees plus x plus 70 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. 52 degrees plus 70 degrees will give us 122 degrees. So x is equal to 180 degrees minus 122 degrees. And this will give us x is equal to 58 degrees. So it means that the value of x in this diagram is 58 degrees. When we look through the options, we can see that the correct option is C. If vector A has the components 2, 4 and vector B has the components negative 2, 6, find vector C such that vector C is equal to 2A plus B. This is a multiple choice question and so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option. Vector C is equal to 2A plus B. We have the components of vector A and vector B so we can substitute them into this equation to get the components of vector C. The components of vector A are 2, 4 and the components of vector B are negative 2, 6. So vector C is equal to 2 times 2, 4 plus negative 2, 6. 2 times 2 will give us 4. 2 times 4 will give us 8. So vector C will be equal to 4, 8 plus negative 2, 6. 4 plus negative 2 will give us 2. And 8 plus 6 will give us 14. So the components of vector C are... 14. When we look through the options, we can see that the correct option is C.